Man, Caleb Williams versus Jaden Daniels. Matter of fact, it's the Chicago Bears versus the Washington Commanders. This is about to be lit. I'm going to tell you Caleb Williams' path to this critical moment in his rookie year. But before we get into that. You are now tuned in to Chicago Bears Central. Your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. I was just rocking to that beat, but I ain't going to lie to y'all. It's the CBC, number one spot for Bears coverage anywhere. But let's get to the topic. Huh. Y'all know what's going on this Sunday. It's Caleb Williams drafted at number one and Jaden Daniels drafted at number two. This is going to be a lit game. Especially for our Chicago Bears franchise. We ain't been in this position in a long time. With a chance to get the 5-2 and two and stay in the race in this tough, the best in the NFC North division. Caleb, man, you better be ready. If Jaden plays, this a legacy game. If he doesn't play... It's still an important game that you got to win. But let's talk about the topic. Jaden Williams, man. Jaden uh, Daniels, man. Man, he been killing ever since he came in the league, bro. First game, he, he been dropping dimes in the pocket, using his legs. He's been unbelievable. It has basically been no interruptions, no roadblock in his rookie season until now. We told y'all. We told y'all in the draft that, man, Jaden Daniels was terrific with LSU. But he looked thin. He looked thin. And with our offensive line that we had, ain't no way we was finna draft that kid. Ain't no way. But this has been all peaches and cream. He still might play Sunday. But I, it's definitely going to change the way the Washington Commanders call that game. Got to be careful. He got tender ribs. And I never want for a player to get hurt. I want this guy at 100% health. Playing against my rook. Playing against my top five defense. I don't want no excuses. But it is it, it is what it is. I suggest if you ain't 100% playing against this defense coming up. Because you ain't played a defense like this yet. You sit your skinny ass down. Or it might double up on you. I don't want you to get hurt, bro. But if you feel like you want that smoke, jump your ass in that line of fire. Because we about that action over here in Chicago. Now let's talk about Caleb. Caleb, man. It ain't always been peaches and cream when he got into this league, bro. Y'all seen that first game. Them happy feet. He was juking. He was the house of Maddox out there on the field, bro. Plus, the offensive line couldn't protect him, man. He was running for his life. He was getting banged around each and every game. This man had 94 yards his first game as a rookie. We won that game, too, by the way. He didn't throw his first touchdown pass till they played the Houston Texans. I think that's week three. 
But through all that, the bumps and bruises, the 94 yards in the first game, the, the touchdown pass in the third game. This man did turn the corner, bro. He turned the corner for, for good, I think. It's not looking good for the league. It's not. We all know that he already was a talent. Now the confidence is getting to be unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, the deep ball ain't where it's supposed to be. But I ain't worried about that. It's coming. That's all I can remember. When you think of Caleb Williams in college, deep ball, putting, putting it in the bucket. Throwing it down, throwing it down the field, 60 yards, right on target, on the run, throwing it 50 yards down the field. It's gonna come. He taking baby steps. What I'm getting at is Caleb bent to the bottom of the bottom, bro. You had people in the city of Chicago saying he was a bust after the first game. A bust. And I don't blame them. It's just PTSD. But if you listen to CBC, we told y'all to chill. You know that old school R. Kelly song. You know, baby, let chill. Chill out. And every single week after that first game, he's got better and better and better. Now it all leads up to this game right here. Caleb Williams versus Jaden Daniels. Maybe the winner is going to go on to be rookie of the year. Jaden, you want to be the rookie of the year, bro? Better shake that off. Because I'm going to tell you right now, Caleb don't care if it's you or Marcus Mariota. At quarterback, he going for the kill. Two reasons. Number one, it's the obvious reason that he been hearing all this crap, yin yang, that Jaden Daniels is better than him. It don't matter if Jaden Daniels plays or not. He's a member of the Washington Commanders. And number two, he from the D.C. area. He finna show out for the crib. But we the new crib. Shot town And we are lucky to have him. And he about to show out. So make sure y'all tuned in. Ooh, this about to be a game. When was the last time we had a game? Ooh, we that felt like this, bro. It's been some years, bro. 2018, since he, since Cody Parkey hit it against the damn uprights, that's how long it's been. We four and two. I think they four and they five and two. Let's get it. Two good teams, two good young quarterbacks, <laughs> one top five defense, one below mid defense. What y'all think is going to happen? Caleb getting ready to kill. If you like what you heard, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you rocking with Caleb Williams and the Chicago Bears, punch that like button. I'm going to see y'all Sunday. I'm geek. I can't even sleep. Peace out. Bro.